happy Christmas from Ramblings! Uh, but it's actually the 26th of December, so also happy Boxing Day. Let's have a historical lesson, shall we? Uh, so what the heck is Boxing Day? Uh, for many Americans, uh, December 26th is the day after Christmas. It's the day that generally you're off and you hang around at home and play with all the cool presents that you just got and ate all the leftovers from the amazing Christmas dinner. Um, you may go shopping because it's a day off and that's what Americans do, I guess, on days off. Um, I never did that. Anyway, but Boxing Day actually has um, quite a significant historical role, uh, particularly in the UK and other Commonwealth nations. Uh, it emerged historically as employers would give their employees Christmas boxes for the day. Um, these were actually quite a big deal. <laughs> um, it, I mean, consider it a Christmas bonus, right? But uh, reaching back several centuries, you know, this was like the Lord of the Manor would give out boxes to all of the people on his or her estates. Um, it was a distribution, right? I mean, so this would be f poor families getting the proper food potentially right um or yeah like young kids getting a little toy if you know perhaps their parents hadn't been able to afford one for christmas day proper that kind of thing um so boxing day was the day that like all of the rich people trotted around giving boxes <laughs> to all the poor people um consider what you will <laughs> in so far as good charity or uh, you know messed up version of you know like here i'm so good because i'm giving or whatever uh, but still has connotations of charity of giving, uh, particularly between employer and employee. And that, so that's shifted now from like the feudal system, of course, into like, you know, different kinds of hierarchical relationships. Um, it, th that import, that focus has definitely shifted to shopping for the UK as well. And definitely for Canada. I would say, which is a Commonwealth nation. So it's still very tied to the UK in terms of culture and, and calendar and that kind of thing. Um, and now there are Boxing Day sales in the same way that there are like Black Friday sales for the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, I received tons and tons of Boxing Day e emails in my inbox about like everyone's deals, including online again. Right? So I mean, it's definitely just become kind of a big commercialization thing. But Boxing Day is in fact not only Boxing Day. It is also St. Stephen's Day. Hey, yo, Catholics, how are you? Uh, St. Stephen's Day, um, important or not, depending on which kind of Catholic you are. Uh, but the 26th of December is the feast day of St. Stephen, which is the proto-martyr. There's a fun word for you. Proto-martyr, uh, or the first martyr of Christianity, according to the Acts of the Apostles and the Catholic Church. Uh, so this guy named Stephen is a deacon, um, so clergy member, in the early church in Jerusalem, um, who of course got in trouble by all of the Jewish synagogues for his teachings. They accused him of blasphemy. Um, he's put on trial. He makes this very big long speech um, that is quite anti-Jewish authority at the time. Uh, and then he's stoned to death. Um, <coughs> this is circa like mid thirties common era or something like that. Who knows? Um, but definitely early, early church times. Um, his death, his stoning, his martyrdom, whatever you'd like to call it, is actually witnessed by turnabout Paul, who's then Saul of Tarsus, um, who is the G Pharisee, the Jewish religious leader, um, who then is probably one of the most famous converts to Christianity. Um, Paul. So the guy who wrote like Corinthians, Love is patient, love is kind, etc., etc., etc. Um, so there you go. Um, charity, shopping, stoning, whatever you like for the twenty sixth of Christmas or the twenty sixth of Christmas. Oh dear, the twenty sixth of December, the day after Christmas. Um, regardless of what you are celebrating or not today, uh, I hope that you've had a lovely month. Um, a lovely end to this Gregorian year of 2014. All best wishes for 2015, of course. Um, Ramblings will probably pop in and out a bit over the holiday seasons. Uh, what's left of them? Obviously, I haven't been blogging every day. Um, I've got a big assignment due to my PhD supervisor uh, in mid-January, so there's going to be forensic research and typing on that, but then hopefully there will be ideas to share. <laughs> so who knows? We'll see what we manage to grudge up. Um, but in the meantime, all the best from Ramblings and have a lot of fun.